Hola, and welcome to Pepe Profiles. I am Pepe. Today we look at Carmen the Frog. This is his life, words and all. <laughs> words and all. Do you get the words part? Because the, the frog is the... Uh, da, what did you know, guy? Anyway, uh, who is Carmen? Really, how did he bring the Muppets together, guy? Okay? And why would he do such a thing? The Muppet movie tells some of this story, but now it's time for Carmen, a frog's life. You've got talent, kid. Singing, telling jokes. I mean, if you get your tongue fixed, who knows? You can make millions of people happy. Millions of people happy. From a frog on a log to life in the fast lane, Carmen has touched all our lives, okay? Oh, Kermit! Oh, he's my best friend in the whole world! Yeah, yeah, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be where I am today. That, that, by the way, Kermit, I, I meant that as a compliment. I feel like Kermit was always a part of my life. Even before we met, he was that longing in my heart. At first I thought it was heartburn, but it turned out to be love. Why, if it wasn't for that frog, there wouldn't even be any Muppets. Why, yes, that alone could get him arrested. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it wasn't always swine and roses for this international star, okay? In the early years, it was definitely not easy being green. I was playing in the El Slizo Cafe. Yeah, a very classy place if you have no taste whatsoever. Kermit walked in, I went on, and we both got thrown out. <laughs> <sighs> I love showbiz. When I met Kermit, he needed something different. And that's my specialty. Why are you hopping up and down? Because I'm hopping mad. Guy's got a sense of humor. Kermit? Kermit! And now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Carmen the Frog! What the? Come on! Well, what's all this? There's, there's a camera. Si, si, I'm going to interview you, okay? okay. You're going to interview me? Si, si, si. You gotta be crazy chasing me halfway across the country. Why are you doing this to me? First question, okay. Okay. Do you ready? Right. Yeah, you yeah, ready? yeah, sure. Very important, okay. Okay. Tell me, Carmen. Yeah. Why are you a frog? Well, it's, it's a genetic thing. I, I, my, my parents were both frogs, and, and therefore, I am a frog. Interesting. But you don't have the big fat blow up thing under your throat. Wow, that's sort of personal. Uh, one second. Uh, darn, I missed. Ah, but what was the secret behind this quest for stardom? What passions made him go where no frog had gone before? Uh, why did you finally decide to leave the swamp, okay? Everyone wants to know. Why, 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 why you leave the swamp? Okay? Why I leave the swamp? Si. Uh, well, I, I left the swamp because, uh, because I, I was the oldest of, of many thousands of brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. I, I wanted to go out in the world and do fun things, make people laugh and sing and dance and tell jokes and have a good time. Really? What makes Kermit so special? Oh, well, I mean, he's the guy we all want to be, right? I mean, except for that whole piggy thing. The Hollywood success can come at a hefty price, okay? And it doesn't get much heftier than Miss Piggy, okay? <laughs> when you marry Miss Piggy... What? What exactly were you thinking? No, 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 no. Wait, hang on. You, Why you... would you marry the pig? No, no, Pepe, we're not even romantically involved. Come on. No, no, look, there you was... You do the okay, private look, ceremony. Look, 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 look. You do no, the, no, no, the, no, no, the no. me more thing. No, no, once upon a time, there was like this little spark. I mean, a gleam in our eyes. See? And, and, and that's it, you know, so that's all there is to it. Let's just say Kermit and Moi are married in our hearts. And I'm still working on the rest of them. Stay away from women. That's my motto. But I can't. Neither can I. That's my trouble. Kermit and Piggy? Well, I, I don't know what he sees in her. I mean, come to think of it, I don't know how he sees a rounder. <laughs> a rounder! I just crack myself up. Well, I always believe in looking on the bright side of things. So remember, Kermit, in the unlikely event of a water landing, Piggy can be used as a flotation device. How was that? Kermit! 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 <laughs> Despite missteps and Miss Piggy, Kermit stepped up to stardom and brought all his friends along for the ride, okay? Prepare the standard rich and famous contract for Kermit the Frog and company. <laughs> I still don't understand why the frog surrounds himself with all those fools. Same reason I hang around with you. Yeah, right. right. Uh, hmm? If it weren't for Mr. Kermit, there would be no Muppet Labs, and I would be merely another good-looking PhD on the prowl. Sorry, ladies. Your lost science is game. 
And now, the frog turns 50, okay? <laughs> Incredible. As Kermit says, time sure fun when you're having flies, okay? <laughs> Kermit, happy 50th. Love you, big frog. Happy 50th. Happy 50th. Kermit is great. He is the best pal a bear could have. I love you, frog. You are the best looking green thing on planet Earth. Congratulations. <laughs> many, many more. <laughs> So, what does the future hold for a frog whose mother is never a crook? Only time will tell. Well, he can do anything and go anywhere. I just hope he takes me with him. We at Muppet Labs have carefully charted Mr. Kermit's future, and I'm sorry to report it does contain pigs. I think Kermit will go on to even bigger and better things. Except in his love life. He's already hit the jackpot there. Okay, so tell me, tell me. Is yeah. there anything you still want to accomplish in your life? Yes. What? Finding a taxi would be really nice. Right now? You're talking about the interview. Okay? I'm talking about the interview. Okay. Very hysterical. Yes, yes, Very yes. Very hysterical yes. frog, okay? And so there you have it, Kermit. More than a frog, a legend. A legend with some really strange friends, okay? <laughs> Until next time, this has been Pepe Profiles, and I have been Pepe. Adios. You are all a bunch of Weirdos! Hm. Hola, and welcome to Pepe Profiles. I am Pepe, and today we look at Miss Piggy. We better get letterbox for this, okay? Miss Piggy is definitely a white screen. <laughs> Look at the, with the white screen. <laughs> anyway, Miss Piggy, an international star. How did this happen? Seriously, does anyone know how this happened? Anyone? Well, I don't know either, but together we'll try to find out in Miss Piggy, the diva who would not be denied. My name is Miss Piggy. And I would like to be a high-fashion model. From high-fashion model to high-maintenance superstar, Miss Piki has made her mark everywhere and uh, on everyone. Woman! 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 Oh, that pig is one of a kind. Are you kidding? There's only enough room for one of her kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Piggy has a certain something. What's the word? Uh, talent? Uh, charisma? Oh, oh, no, wait, it's it's karate. From her mysterious early years as a humble farm girl, through her work as a glove model and a part-time pork products calendar pinup girl, Miss Peaky has always had big dreams and a big appetite uh, for stardom. Oh, Piggy really burst onto the scene. Uh, no! So the first time I met her, I was trapped under some scenery. How did I meet Miss Piggy? Well, like everyone else does. By accident! Ow! Boy, a classy place like this, you'd think they have pretzels on the table. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, there are a couple of stories about how I met Miss Piggy. Uh, I wish I could set the record straight, but um, apparently I've just repressed those memories. And now, here she is, Miss Piggy! Oh, hello, hello! <laughs> oh, you look terrific, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're interviewing me? Si, si, I'm the interviewer, okay? You? Si, come on, come on. Come on, you ready? I First question, come on, you're a hot star. Hot all star. All right, all right, all right. Okay, These okay. better be good questions, though. They're great questions. Okay, well, let's hear them. Okay, first one. First mm -hmm. question is, yeah. Miss Piggy, mm -hmm. why are you a pig? That's the first question. Is that the best you got? There are so many unanswered questions about Miss Piggy, okay? But what makes her a success remains the biggest mystery of all. Well, Miss Piggy's stardom is what we in the scientific community call an enigmatic anomaly, which is technical talk for we don't have a clue. What does Piggy bring to the Muppets? Gee, I don't know. But whatever it is, it sure takes up a lot of closet space. Okay, let's move on, Miss Piggy. What made you decide to go into show business? Oh! Well, that is a wonderful question. Right. I am so glad you asked. Thank yes. You. Well, actually, it wasn't a choice. Mm -hmm. No, it was more like destiny. Yes, I was destined for show business. Really? I heard a calling, and I answered it. Did it sound like a bell? 
A bell? Like a cowbell. <laughs> what makes Miss Piggy a star? Well, you just try telling her she's not a star. Trust me, that's going to hurt. Miss Piggy has more talent in her little finger than anyone I've ever seen. Yeah, too bad the rest of her's no good for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to save this movie. Oh, yeah, we'll save your performance instead. I, I am playing 800 different emotions. Well, try to play one of them right. And Miss Piggy is no stranger to controversial guy, especially when it comes to her on-again, off-again, oh-no-not-again romance with Carmen DeFrog. <laughs> Are we married? Oh, let's just say... I love him. He loves me. And I love me. <laughs> married? No, no. Piggy and I are absolutely not romantically involved. Uh, at least not if I can help it. Piggy and I have a professional relationship. I think we're professionals, and she thinks we're in a relationship. Is there anything you still want to accomplish in your life? No. This is going to I'm just, I'm just this trying to really get this well. interview over with. Yeah, you okay, see? okay. What are your biggest flaws? And try to keep the list short, you know? Yeah, well, I can keep the list very short. Okay. Because I don't have any flaws. None. Uh huh. Hey! <laughs> what does the future hold for Hollywood's biggest pig, okay? Nobody knows for sure. But one thing is certain there'll be no avoiding her. <laughs> Oh, I think she's just gonna get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Uh, why do I have a feeling she's gonna take that wrong? I think she should take more chances. Anybody can sing a song, but if she did it in a tank filled with vicious sharks, now that's something I'd pay to see. What's in Miss Piggy's future? Dessert and plenty of it. <laughs> What's in Piggy's future? Uh, me, unfortunately. <laughs> Miss Piggy, a star and a diva, okay? <laughs> but more than this, a pig who really packs a wallop, okay? <laughs> Until next time, this has been Pepe Profiles, and I have been Pepe. Adios! Am I the only one offended by this? Hola, and welcome to Pepe Profiles. I am Pepe, of course. <laughs> and today, we take a close-up look at the great Ganso. Hey, is this a good idea? He's pretty strange from a distance, okay? Do we really want to get up close? We do? Okay, oh well, here goes. This is Ganso. Portrait of an artist as a young wildo. You might want to step back from the TV, okay? <laughs> well, what can you say about someone who defies description, common sense, and the laws of gravity, okay? Well, you know, Gonzo is, is, is willing to take any risk, uh, rise to any challenge, break any bone. You gotta admire him, even though he does really do a real number on our health insurance. Well, we may not be sure what Gonzo does, but whatever it is, we sure don't like it. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Gonzo does not know the meaning of the word fear. Think about the broken bones he could have avoided if he only had the dictionary. Gonzo has a way of taking the ordinary and making it extraordinary. Are you sure I'm getting paid for this endorsement? Even his fellow performers were awestruck and a bit dazed when Gonzo first burst on the scene. Well, you know, when I first met Gonzo, uh, I, I, I couldn't really figure out what he was or what he did. So, so I knew right away he was perfect for us. Well, I met Gonzo at the theater when he crashed through a wall I was living in. Yeah. I don't remember how I met Gonzo. It was a sudden flash of light, and then I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Gonzo! 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 And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Gonzo. Great. Hello. <laughs> Don't be shy. Well, what are you doing? I'm doing an interview, okay? Wonderful. Would you like to start right now and ask me a question quickly? Yes, I would. Right away if I've it's got, okay I've with you. I've got a you. couple of things working. You gotta run. Okay, this won't take long. This won't take long. Mm -hmm. Very busy. It's very busy, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ganso, tell me, what are you? Pepe, what kind of question is that? What are you? I'm a king prawn. You're a king prawn? Mm -hmm. That would be a crustacean, right? That's right. You don't have any shell. No, I had the shell removed, okay? 
I'm on the chef shed. Well, you know, Gonzo uh, was a combination daredevil performance artist plumber when he came to us, and it just so happened that's exactly what we were looking for at the time. Uh, unfortunately, he still hasn't gotten around to actually fixing the plumbing. But, um, yeah. Well, as uh, far as blue-nosed weirdos go, he's certainly the bluest and the weirdest. How's that? Why do you do what you do, and what is it you do again? Well, I, I'm a performance artist. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I just do acts. I do, I mean, it's sort of art. It's high art. Really? It's very, very sophisticated stuff. Very it sophisticated. It goes over a lot of people's heads. Mm -hmm. So did you, as a matter of fact. When you're flying in the air, just, when you fly in the air. It's okay if he, if he makes fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> but while art is important in his life, nothing matters more to the great Ganso than his greatest love, Camila. And let me ask you another question. Okay. okay. It's a little more personal. Okay. Uh, tell me about Camila. Camila? Mm -hmm. The chicken? See, it's Camila. Chick well, she's my girlfriend. Uh -huh. You know. How long have you been dating? It's about 20 years now. It's about time to settle down, don't you think? No. You know, the thing about chickens is they all look alike. Yeah. You know, and I'm not sure she's the same one every time. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's hot. Gonzo and Camilla, I, I think it's great. I'm so glad they're together, and, and it's always nice to see an interspecies relationship that's not between a frog and a pig. Wait a minute, Gonzo and Camilla? I thought she married Prince Charles. Oh, I think it's a great thing. Yeah, maybe he can find out why she crossed the road, too. Hey, I'm a rat. I mean, it's not for me to cast aspirations on anyone. If a chicken wants to go out with a, uh, with a uh, whatever, well, more power to him. I never dated a chicken, but I was married once. What's that got to do with anything? I know what it's like to be henpecked. <laughs> That's not funny. Mm. To many, Ganso remains an enigma wrapped in a conundrum. Whatever the heck this means, okay? But his closest friends treasure him for what he brings to the Muppets and to the future. Well, in Ganso's future, I see great possibilities. All quite painful, though. For Ganso, the sky's the limit. And that's only if he runs out of rocket fuel. Gonzo's future? Well, I'd say it's just a brick wall away. <laughs> oh, that's my ride. Have you ever asked yourself, why am I doing this? I'm asking myself that right now. I bet you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The great Ganso. What he is and what he does, we may never know. But that's probably a good thing, okay? <laughs> Until next time, this has been Pepe Profiles, and I have been Pepe. Adios! I find such behavior absolutely appalling. Hola, and welcome to Pepe Profiles. I am Pepe, and today we look at the life and times of Fuzzy Bear. Why? Why are we looking at the life and times of Fuzzy Bear? He's not funny. He's not funny. Why don't you do profile on me? I'm the funny one, okay? Uh, uh, here's a joke. Here's a joke. Uh, uh, what uh, did the greedy crab say to the other greedy crab? Don't be so shellfish. Come on! This is funny. This is... You're not laughing. This is a funny joke, okay? Ay, Dios mío. Okay, okay. Fine, fine. You ask for it. Okay, it's time for Fatsy Bear a long day's journey into nightclubs. Shellfish is funny, okay? It's funny, okay? Fatsy Bear. When it comes to comedy, there's no one else like him, okay? Pratfalls, slapstick, one-liners. Fatsy can do it all, okay? Uh, whether you want him to or not. Fatsy and I have been friends since the first time I heard his act. Um, right away I could tell this was a bear who needed all the friends he could get. Fozzie brings something special to the Muppets. You know, joy buzzers and whoopee cushions. You gotta love that. Oh, Fozzie is very talented doing what he does. What does he do again? Well, we don't know much about the bear before he came to the Muppets. Thank goodness. Yeah, but we have met his mom. She has a great sense of humor. Must skip a generation. Oh! <laughs> yes. From the very beginning, Fatsy knew he could make the people's laugh. But first he had to convince them his act was funny. <laughs> Fozzie's act, uh, 
Well, I mean, I'm a rat, you know. I love lowbrow comedy, but hey, even I got my standards. <laughs> Fozzie's act will always bring down the house. So, uh, if nothing else, he has a great future in demolition. Making it wookie wookie and the yucky yucky. Fuzzy's act isn't half bad. No, it's all bad. Yes! <laughs> and now, here he is, a very, very funny guy. Fuzzy Bay! Ah, what the what the Yeah, the waka waka. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I don't have to tell any jokes now, do I? No, 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 I'm going okay. to interview you. It's temporaneous, all right. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I didn't bring any material. No, it's okay, it's okay. You're okay. funny just how you are, all right. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes! Mr. Bimbo told me so. I met you, Sandy. Okay. Uh, why did you go into the comedies, and when are you going to get out, okay? Ah, oh, oh, that's good one. Funny. Can I use that? No, I'm being serious. Strangely enough, Fatsy's harshest critics, Stadler and Waldorf, were responsible for some of his greatest success, okay? But were they really heckling him? Or was it all just another clever comedy ploy from the madcap mind of Fatsy Bay? What's with the Stadler and Waldorf, okay? Up in the balcony. Mm -hmm. Why are they always picking on you, okay? I actually paid them to do that. Oh, yeah. You Oh, it's a big setup? Yes, it is a. The whole thing is set up. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. terrible. It, it, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. Why do we give Fuzzy a hard time? Well, I think it's the other way around. Yeah, we're the ones who have to listen to his act. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, even more than comedy, it is Fuzzy's heart of gold that makes this bear so important to the map. It's okay. Well, I think Fuzzy's best quality is that he's just about the best pal a frog could have. You know? Um, I love you, Fuzzy. Oh, no, no, Fozzie and I never fight. I, I mean, we have way too much respect for each other. And besides, I'm so busy fighting with Miss Piggy, uh, there really is just no time. To help Fozzie, we at Muppet Labs have developed a joke-generating machine. Unfortunately, it keeps backfiring, so I guess the joke is on us. <laughs> and yet, with all the joy and laughter Fozzie has brought to millions around the world, okay? Are there bigger things in his future? His friends certainly think so. Fuzzy's future? Well, I wish him only the best, yes. As long as it's nowhere near moi or my frog. Well, I'd love to see Fuzzy in a sitcom. You know, after all these years of stand-up, he needs a place to sit. Hmm. I think Fuzzy's future will be very bright. Yeah, even though he's not. <laughs> oh, excuse oh, me. Easy, easy. <laughs> Medic? You know, someday Fozzie will be recognized as the world's greatest stand-up comedy bear. I mean, he's already nailed the bear part, and uh, he's great at standing up. It's just sort of the uh, uh, comedy part that uh, needs a little work. Is there anything you still want to accomplish in this incredible life of yours? Ah, oh, well, let's see. Um, you know, I would really love to play Carnegie Hall. Oh, really? And how did you get to Carnegie Hall? Well, you go to New York City, you see, and uh, it really helps if you have a map. And I, I think it's on uh, 50, 58th Street. No, 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 50, 57th Street. Well, it's around there somewhere. <laughs> and, a funny uh, thing happened on his way to stardom. And, uh, and now, on, the joke's on us, okay? 50, 58th Street. No, no, <laughs> Until no, no, next no, time, no, 50, this has been Pepe Profiles, and, uh, and I, I on, have been Pepe. Adios. I am not amused.